Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Um, in this little demonstration, I'm going to talk you through our three main beading thread products. Now, if you're seed beading, you need a different thread than if you're jewellery making. So for example, instead of using a tiger tail, which is quite a rigid metallic cord or a thread, you need something a lot finer and a lot softer. So the three products that I've got in front of me here, you'll probably all recognise, and these are our three staple beading thread lines. We've got, on the left here, we've got Wildfire, we've got Fireline, and we've also got KO Nylon Thread. So first of all, I think I'll talk you through the Wildfire and the Fireline. So first of all, I'm going to talk you through the first product, which is called Fireline. Now, Fireline is, 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 a, is a joint product from Barclay. Now, Barclay predominantly make fishing tackle and fishing rods and fishing line, of which Fireline is. And recently, Beadsmith, one of our amazing bead manufacturers, has seen the benefits of using this particular thread in beading. So the fire line comes in predominantly two colours. We have the black and we have the white. And these come in various gauges from £10 all the way down to £4. Now, I tend to use more than any. I tend to use the £6. But as you can see, we've got 6, 8, 10. There is also a four pound weight as well for if you're doing finer work. We also do a product called Fireline Black Satin. This is a four pound. And unlike the other products in the Fireline range, this has actually been sealed. The outside of the thread has been sealed. So sometimes when you're using a beading thread like Fireline or Wildfire, you tend to leave some residue on your fingers. Many, many beaders are used to this. So with the black satin, you don't get any of that, that residue when you're beading. If you do find that you do get residue from your thread, you could always take one of your, your fire lines and actually rub it through a damp paper towel to take off any excess. So the type of projects that you would use with your fire line are things like POT, um, very structured pieces. So, you, so for example, your tubular netting or working with your super duos or anything that, uh, that you want to make bands, so whether it's a tubular band or a flat peyote band, anything like that that you want rigidity and structure, then Fireline is definitely without doubt the, the thread of choice. So Wildfire is a product made by Beadalon and it's nothing to do with fishing line at all, that's a separate, that's a separate entity. So let me just take those off of my board and I'll talk you through the Wildfire. The difference between Wildfire and Fireline predominantly that Wildfire have gone mad with colour. So as well as doing their basic black, white, they do a smoke, they do a crystal, they also do some, so they also do some amazing colours like this for example, this amazing Shanghai red. This is their black, which is a real jet black. And they also do this amazing forest green. So you'll tend to find that if you wanted a colour uh, thread to use with your projects, then definitely go for Wildfire. Because as, as I mentioned earlier, um, Fireline tend to be the black or the white or the smoky grey because in effect it is Fireline. Now Wildfire, because it's a lot softer, it's a lot more supple and you would tend to use Wildfire on your bead embroidery for example or your, your products that you would, um, I think it's called backstitch on the back of um, your, your beading foundation pieces. Uh, so it's a lot softer, so you use that for your, your, for, your less, your, for your less structured pieces. So something if you want a bit of softer definition too. So as well as your fire line and your wildfire, we also do the product called KO thread, which is a nylon cord. And again, it's more luxurious. It's very, very soft. It's a nylon cord made in Japan, and they come in very, very beautiful, beautiful colours. Any colour you can imagine, the KO thread will be made into. Beading thread on the top, you get quite a lot of, I mean, it's 300 metres, something like that on the, on the reel, so you do get quite a few. Now the, the, uh, the KO thread, it's been conditioned with beeswax, which basically means it's got an outer covering on it, an outer coating, so it's very, very strong, but it does have a slight give, it does have a slight elasticity to it, so it's a really nice, again, for your embroidery pieces and your finer detailed work. So Fireline, Wildfire for your seed beading and using a needle, and your KO thread for your more luxurious backing foundation and, and pieces like that. Something that you want um, more luxury and softness with, and also a myriad of colours. There are hundreds of different colours in the K 
O range. And as I said, it's a, it's a, a twisted thread. It's very, very strong, but very, very soft and very, very subtle. So you've got your wildfire, your fire line, if you want your standard black, white, and gray, and then your wildfire, if you want your way out, jazzy colors, but with your strength. One thing that you'll notice when looking at the packaging on your wildfire and fire line, which stands out, uh, is on the fishing line, which is the Barclay made by Beadsmith, you will notice that we have a poundage on the box. We have four pound here, you can see, we have an eight pound and we have a six pound. Now the reason the poundage weights are on the fire line is because predominantly it's being made as a fishing line and you need to know the poundage that, of the weight that you can carry when you're fishing. With the wildfire, you notice we don't have a poundage because it's, it's made as a beading material, but you do have the millimeterage or the point millimeterage. So this one is 0.15, this one's 0.15, and this is 0.58. This, again, this is 0.15 as well. So what I definitely recommend is, is ignore the poundage weights on the fire line and just concentrate on the millimeter of the core diameter. That's more important than the weight. So again, it's very useful to know the weight if you're going to be doing the fishing line route, but predominantly if you're, if you're using smaller beads, go for the smallest of the diameter, the millimeterage on the weight, which are corresponding on both of your fire line and your wildfire. And I have to say, I've, out of those, I tend to use wildfire and fire line predominantly over those. But again, if I want something a bit more luxurious and, and a bit softer in, in, in make, then I would definitely go for my Keho thread. So I hope that's answered some questions and um, look forward to seeing your make soon.